Okay, welcome back to Shopping Down Under. I'm Doug. It's Monday afternoon. I'm in a hurry. Today, we're going to show you what something that looks like it's been rattling around in someone's toolbox. In fact, you'd think it'd be uh, find some sort of small impact screwdriver in there, or um, maybe Allen key set, or drill bit set. But what it actually is, it's a Proback razor. So interesting score I got some time ago and finally getting around to having a shave with it. I've already popped a blade into the razor to start with. There it is there. And try and get underneath so you can have a look. So I'm really looking forward to shaving with it. Let's get the shave underway. Well, I am wearing the Brighton shirt, and we're not really going to talk too much about Brighton. We lost to Aston Villa. And yeah, pretty feeling pretty flat about it, to be honest with you. Went to the casino late. It was uh, half past midnight when the game started, and... Near the end of the game, we looked around and we were the only people upstairs in the sports bar. Just us and the young woman who was running the bar, manning the bar. So that gives you an idea what sort of night it was. Back to wintry conditions again. So, so far it's a, um, it's a fairly mild razor. Probably similar to a tech. Well, you know, a tech with teeth. So it's just got a little bit more bite than a tech, but not too much more. So, so far, not a bad first pass. A nice sort of razor. I did think about actually using a slant for the first time, but I was just, I want a little bit more time with that. Because I've never used a slant razor before. <clears throat> I've actually got two now, so. So I'll stick with something that was just standard to my knowledge to get through this quick shave today. So if you're wondering what soap I'm using, uh, Fuzzy Face Soaps, Bow Brummel. I really love this soap. Well, I love the scent of it and it makes a really nice lather. The 
blade I'm using is the Gillette Aristocrat, which I've been using for a while now, so. And it still seems to be shaving well. I'm not sure how many times I've used it, so. Because I haven't used it for every shave since I, I cracked it, but. Um, it's maybe its fifth or sixth shave. Mm, a bit of claret. So off to Melbourne this weekend. Driving over there actually. Leaving Thursday night after I finish work, so probably be on the road by nine o'clock. We'll just drive straight through to a town called Keith. Not sure what that town was named after. Was named after a fella or why it got that name. Maybe it's a town name in England somewhere, which happens a lot in Australia and I've noticed in America. We'll get up bright and early and bushy tailed the next morning. Well, maybe not the bushy tailed. Or even the bright eyed. But we'll get up early, cruise to Border Town, which is only about 25 minutes away, if that. Have breakfast at Bushes and Beans and then hit the road. Couple of little nicks, but a uh, really nice shave. Probac. I don't know, I can't remember what I paid for this. I don't know what they sell for. I don't think they're going to be cheap, but they're not going to be overtly expensive either. I could be wrong, but I don't, I think that's how they roll. This is a really, really nice shave. An absolute nice, beautiful nice shave. And, um, for you Americans out there, I'm pretty sure you probably can pick these up out in the wild for very cheap prices. And um, if you see one, buy one confidently, as long as it's in good sort of, at least in user condition um, or in better condition. 
buy it with confidence it's a nice shave a really nice shave so I'll show you look I don't know if that's the correct blade bank that come with it I've got a feeling it's not probably there was no blade bank it was probably just there some packet of razor blades in there so don't take too much notice of that because I think that's just a Gillette but there it is now as I said it looks like something that's been bouncing around in a toolbox it's got that red toolbox paint color to it beautiful and this so uh, fuzzy face shapes top class leather nice cushioning nice slickness well worth i'll leave links and he's got a few in the range but the bow brummel was the uh, scent that I've, I've really enjoyed really nice scent and you can look that up when in the link so after shave we're going to go with some chanel and the allure and this is a um, very very nice scented perfume that is well rated in the world of perfumes for men definitely one I'll be rebuying bottle I've got getting pretty low now so I'll pick one up at a later date beautiful beautiful finish lovely stuff so I'm not sure what definitely a unboxing video uh, this Wednesday and then the next shave video I'm not sure what I might have to miss one I'll try and do a road trip one maybe take uh, footage of it whether I do one in Melbourne or oh, I'm getting back late everything look I'll play it by ear we may miss one or two vids but uh, no big deal we'll get by on that but um, I'll definitely have some uh, interesting footage for you with the next video at least anyway Oh yeah, people, I've really got to run. Uh, thanks for sticking around. Uh, hang around for Wednesday's unboxing. I don't even know what it is, but it'll be interesting. And um, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Okay, I've got to run. Have a great week. Ciao for now.